Hello everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias, the show that I literally cannot do in one take. All of my videos have to be two takes. I just filmed an entire 12 minute video going over a whole bunch of stuff and then I realized not only was the camera pointed too far that way, but I didn't have my ultra wide lens on so you could barely see anything. Anyway, today's video we're going to talk about the Prisma and we're going to talk about the future of my personal YouTube channel because I figured a lot of stuff out recently and I actually do have a plan now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but first, machine-wise Prisma, this, this thing's great. I am really, really impressed that Dalen has managed to get these out in the quality and the um, quantity that he has been. 30 a week with some of the best tolerances I've seen. And these are not even, he's told me these aren't even as good as he would like them to be. They have to keep it a little loose so it doesn't bind up like, I guess, an arctic would if you were to drop it in the wrong place. Which is fair. Um, but these things are fantastic. 30 a week. Great Balasong trainer. And honestly, it's kind of leaving me in a bad spot with the Vortex because I just released my... What some could des describe a glowing review of the Vortex. And then I get this and it kind of makes me wonder if I want to keep the Vortex because it kind of is the same experience. It's a bit longer than the Vortex, but both of them are light aluminum handle, not handle bias, both of them are light aluminum, slightly blade bias trainers, and they provide a very similar experience, at least to my hand. So we'll have to see where the Vortex lands once I really get used to this thing and get my review of it out. I am considering doing a Vortex versus Prisma comparison eventually. Some people might say they're not the best to compare, but I honestly think the Prisma has the tolerances and the availability as a win. The Vortex has its rounded handles and its material that it's made out of as a win. So I think it's a more fair comparison than people might think, considering that the Vortex has a V2 coming out. But that's not important. I am going to be reviewing this maybe next, I don't know. Usually I go in order of when my uh, when I get my Balasongs is when I'm going to review them. So technically the next thing that I should review is the Tay Flipper, but I'm going to wait on that uh, for a little bit. And then we, I'm going to do, so that would be the Nemesis next. Considering doing the Nemesis so I can keep talking about NRB and NRB is still fresh, but then the Prisma is so close to the Vortex, I think it could be really good to compare them. So I want to do both of those while the Vortex is still fresh. It's going to have to come down to whatever I whatever I'm feeling more. I think the Prisma might come first, maybe the Nemesis will be first. I'm excited about both of them in very different ways. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, overall color on the Prisma is so much better in real life. I really can't describe how nice this thing looks in person. It's awesome. And it flips really good and it's available. There's been a lot of people uh, reselling these for way more than they're worth. I really advise you guys to just wait for a drop where you can get one. They're coming out every week. It's better to wait a week than to spend an extra $50 on a Balasong that is $160. People are selling them for $240, $250, which I think is ridiculous. So I would say just wait, honestly, to try and get one from a drop. I can't tell you what to do, but that's my recommendation. Anyway, Prisma's great. Review on that coming eventually. But, as far as the personal, my personal channel, I have had a lot of thought put into recently, and I've developed a plan. So my content on my main channel is going to radically change over the next month. Because I want to, I don't want to be the mini Will Hirsch clone anymore. I want to be my own creator. So, that comes along with finding a lot, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I've made is my own style, but it's still heavily inspired by the other content creators I've seen on the platform, especially people like Will, um, and other reviewers on Instagram or something like that. So, my plan is to change one aspect of my content in the next four videos. So, Vortex Review is the beginning of that plan. The Vortex Review had a radically different editing style compared to my normal editing style. It was faster paced, there were more jokes in the editing rather than in the script, and it just overall flowed a little bit better, I think. 
but it was also much harder to produce. I spent a long time not only researching, editing tricks and tips, but also learning how to do the things that I did in that video, like that little animation I did with the Prisma and the Vortex, took a lot longer than you guys probably realize. So that was the change there. The editing is different, faster paced, a bit more my style, a bit more my jokes, etc. The next video that comes out, if you saw I did a live stream where I did a, like a challenge video, and I'm going to turn that into an actual main channel video. So the plan there is to test out how live content translates into a video. Essentially doing what Twitch streamers have been doing for years where they stream and they edit it down into a YouTube video, but with actual planned content. So, and then that's also going to be a test for um, content that isn't specifically review related. Because I love reviews and I think they have a great place, but the fact that every single Balasong creator, if you want to make a Balasong video, you make a review, I feel like it shouldn't be like that. I feel like there's more things we can do with these. There's more creative things we can do with Balasongs to make them interesting to not only the community, but a wider audience. So I'm going to try that. That's going to be the other half of the test in my next video. Um, hopefully I'll get that edited down and out fairly quickly, but no promises. And then after that is going to be my one year flipping anniversary kind of like roundup of every important thing that's happened to me in my flipping career. Career. So it's going to be things like getting my first Balasong, getting my first metal trainer, my first flipping clip that I posted, all that stuff. And a lot of it is going to be stuff that you guys have never seen before. My old flipping before I started YouTube and especially before I started Instagram. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff that was never seen by the, uh, the public that I never posted on my main Balasong Instagram. And that, the, the thing that that's going to change up is my script writing slash my pre presentation to camera. So it's going to really test how well I can present information to camera imagining the edits in my head while I'm recording the video, um, doing things like adding jokes in editing or adding jokes in the script or both. And it's going to be a test of my pre-video creation setup. How well can I plan out a video and execute on that plan? And what can I do to change what I've already done to do that? Because I already do write somewhat I already kind of write scripts, um, but I don't really like fully script my videos. I don't really script jokes into it. So we're going to try and, and see what I can do there. And then finally is going to be my main, my first solo review um, with all these new things learned. So that will either be the Prisma or the Nemesis review where I add everything that went well and cut out everything that didn't go well, the editing, the presentation style, um, the unscriptedness or whatever, whatever works, whatever doesn't with feedback from you guys over the next few videos. And that's going to turn, and that is also, I should say, going to feature a change up to my personal review format. So instead of doing the widely accepted, here's a section of commentary and here's some B-roll to separate it. And then here's some more commentary and here's some B I'm going to try and do other things to make it interesting considering I'm not capable of doing the crazy B roll on my own without Ty. So I'm going to make it a less B roll focused review and try and find ways to still make that interesting. Hopefully I can. Um, I have a few ideas in mind, but I'll really narrow that down as the next month goes by and I release all these other videos. But this transition is going to be uh, mostly dependent on you guys. I need a lot of feedback on all of the stuff that I'm making. I've got a lot of good feedback on the Vortex review. People seem to like the faster pace in that. So if you see something you like in one of my videos or something you don't like, let me know. Because it will change the way that I make content going forward. Oh my god. And... <laughs> And that'll be a, a huge thing in helping me decide what you guys like, what I like to do, and all that stuff. So four big tests. Um, we've got the, the editing, 
the non-review content, the commentary style, and then a change to the review format itself. And like I said, I'm going to need all your feedback and all your help. I'm really excited for it. I'm going go, going down a road that I think every content creator goes down where they try and make their own identity. When you start off, you're inspired by someone else. And then as you grow, you try and make your own stuff, which is a perfectly normal thing to do. And that's where I'm going. So I am very excited to see what the future holds for uh, my main channel. And I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm coming out with. I'm very excited. I've been very proud of the Vortex video, just based on what I was able to accomplish and learn. And YouTube is definitely coming back to that point where I, I kind of lost that learn something new every video thing for a few videos, just because I was focused on getting a video out. Whereas now I'm definitely focused on making it like a personal growth thing and making it I can learn something through the process of making a video um and then as far as the future of blade bias i'm not really sure what's going on i'm gonna have to talk to ty sometime and just see what he's doing i'm sure he's not like quitting the channel or anything but just seeing why he hasn't been interested in reviewing doing podcasts or uploading on the, the channel or anything like that i'm sure he just he's just busy and he has other things he's focusing on which is all totally fine uh but until we clear that up it might just be you and me guys for f you and me guys it might just be you and me for a few weeks um we had episode four of the podcast recorded but the audio got deleted when ty cleared out his editing folder because he forgot that it was in there so that's all right we'd have to re-record that but we have not i've not been able to get him to lock him down to actually be able to record it so I'll try and figure out what's going on there, but until then, I'll still be uploading here. I really like what we have going on Blade Bias. It's so nice to be able to upload a video in... I have to admit, it's really nice to be able to upload a video in 15 minutes with no editing, no crazy anything, just put it into my editing software, throw the clips together, render it, upload it, really hands-off process, and it's nice when you're spending 20 plus hours all together making a video for the main channel so i definitely still plan on doing what we keeping what we've got going here because i really like it and i'm also going to put a little time into helping farbos one of my mods um grow his personal channel and stream and all that stuff so if you're interested in seeing him play some games i'll probably be appearing on there every once in a while go check him out you can find him in the where to watch section on our discord which should be linked in the description and I think that's pretty much it. Um, info packed or topic packed video today. Just a lot of stuff that I wanted to get out in a single video before I do other videos like the Kraken. I'm really nervous to do the Kraken one, but gotta do it eventually. I can't baby that thing for the rest of its life. I mean, I can, but I don't really like, I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me. Hopefully, this recording actually worked and didn't screw me over like the last one and i think yeah i think that's pretty much it thanks for listening to me ramble for so long and i will see you all in the next video peace out